Excited supporters greeted the DPP's presidential candidate, Vice President Lai Qingde, as he was transiting New York en route to Paraguay. Soon after his plane touched down on Saturday night local time, he was greeted by managing director Ingrid Larson of the AIT Washington office, along with Taiwan's representative in the U.S., Xiaobi Kim. When he arrived at his hotel, Lai was met by enthusiastic supporters made up of both Taiwanese expats and Chinese nationals in exile. Lai will be transiting the U.S. again on his return trip at the end of the week. As if a rock star had appeared before his fans, Lai Qingde steps out of a vehicle in front of his hotel to thunderous cheers from local supporters, both outside and inside of the hotel. Tom Su, the father of the Queen of Semiconductors, AMC's Lisa Su, was among the supporters. I'm very happy to see Vice President Lai. We have in fact met several times in Taiwan. We can all see his contribution to Taiwan and Tainan, and we very much hope that he can win the presidential election next year, so we will fully support him. The rumored pro-China protesters never showed up. Instead, Chinese people living in exile turned up to voice their support. Not just members of the public, but government officials were also present. Once the plane touched down, AIT Managing Director Ingrid Larson and Taiwan's representative in the U.S., Xiaobi Kim, greeted the vice president and had their pictures taken with him. AIT Chair Laura Rosenberger, who couldn't be there due to her sister's wedding, tweeted her greeting, promising to see Lai in San Francisco on his way back to Taiwan. Meanwhile, KMT legislator Chen Yixin has pointed out that Lai's reception was by a lower-ranking American official compared to 11 years ago. He said when then-Vice President Wu Dunyi stopped over in New York, it was the then-AIT chairman who came to greet him. The main reason why Rosenberger didn't personally welcome Vice President Lai in New York this time is because Rosenberger's sister was getting married. And Lai immediately tweeted back to express to her his good wishes. Over the past few years, Taiwan and the U.S. have developed closer ties at all levels, whether it be security, economy, trade, industry, etc. And I think they are much closer than the last time the KMT was in power. Presidential Office Deputy Secretary General Alex Huang said that Lai would head to the Glass House on the Hudson River on Sunday to attend a banquet with overseas Taiwanese, after which Lai would hold a dialogue with young people at the same venue.